Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Adam's Eats. Now before we get started I should probably explain what all this nonsense about. Yeah I'm redecorating, I was fed up with a kind of blue colour so I thought I'd brighten it up and I've gone for a whispering sage. It's pastel mint green to me uh, but yeah that's the colour of it. I've also ditched the notice board because I'm going to make like a thing with some chalkboard paint, make a nice notice board, so that's going to look all fancy schmancy. Um, so yeah, excuse the mess, but yeah, I'm redecorating. Right, so on to the recipe then, a really simple sausage pasta. Um, it's about seven o'clock at night, I've just got back from work, uh, I'm knackered, I don't really want to be cooking big dishes or long roasts or anything like that, so this is a really simple recipe. Great for families as well, if you've got kids, you know, just want something quick and tasty, this is absolutely ideal. Right, so let's get going then. If you look down below in the description, you can get a list of the ingredients you need. And also if you press pause now, you can get a list of them there as well. So I'm gonna drag my tired, aching body over there, grab the stuff we need, and we'll get started. Right, so let's get this show on the road. I've got an onion there. I'm just gonna pop that to one side for a moment. Okay, so what I've got here are six pork sausages. And what we're gonna do with these is remove them from the skins. Now you can skip this step entirely. If you can get hold of some good Italian sausages, then you can skip this bit, go straight to cooking. But if you can't get hold of Italian sausages, I'm gonna show you a way on how to get a similar flavor, just using regular pork sausages. Now, the key to this is to get good sausages. You know, don't buy those cheap, nasty, pasty kind of sausages. You want really good ones. Now, I recommend at least 95% pork. Uh, and just ordinary plain pork sausages, not Cumberland, not Lincolnshire, just plain. And the reason for that is because we're going to add our own seasonings. So the first thing we need to do with our sausages is take a knife and we need to remove the meat from the skin. So all I'm going to do is just take a knife, run it down the middle, split open the case, peel that off. You can discard that and then just pop the meat into a bowl. Really simple, so I'm gonna repeat this with the rest of the sausages and then I'll show you the next bit. Right, so once you've removed all the sausage from the skins, got them in the bowl like that, we're gonna go in with some fresh garlic. Now, you've got to use fresh, no good using dried, no good using lazy garlic or anything like that, you want fresh. And I've got three cloves and I'm just gonna grate it in like so. Now you want to mince it so that it goes all the way through the sausage, nice and evenly. Right, so now the garlic's in, we need to add the dry spices. And what I've got here is I've got some cayenne pepper, not too much because I don't want a lot of heat in there. Just a nice little tickle in the back of your throat. I've got some black pepper, I've got some oregano here, um, I've got some fennel seeds and I've got some coriander seeds. Now, I strongly recommend that with the fennel seed and the coriander seed is that you toast them lightly. Uh, just in a dry pan on a moderate heat, just until they start to smell aromatic. And then just take a pestle and mortar and lightly grind them up. And what you get is a much more fragrant, much more powerful taste. Uh, so I strongly recommend that you do that. And I've also got some bay leaves here, which we'll add when we cook the dish. So I'm just going to get the dry spices in. There we go. And I've not added any salt at all because these sausages are pre-seasoned. But a little tip for you is if you mix all this together, uh, just pinch off a small piece, fry it up, taste it. If you need more salt, then add it. But I know these sausages don't need anything at all. So all we're going to do now is to mix it up. Now there's no easy way to do this. You just need to get your hands in there and just squish everything together. Be quite gentle with it because you don't want to mash this into a paste. You want to keep that nice meaty texture. So just using your fingertips, just work that through until everything is nice and combined. Why are you being grumpy? You've had your dinner. You can't have this, because you're not gonna like it. Yeah, slow puff. Slow puff. Honestly, he's like a toddler sometimes. He's been milling about around here. He's been, he's been attacking the wire for the microphone as well. Oh, I love him to bits though. I do love him to bits, but oh, it's like, it is like having a kid. So anyway, once you've mixed your spices up with the sausage meat, Ideally, you need to leave that to rest for a good hour or so, just so those flavours can marry together and make it super delicious. But I'm hungry now, so let's get cooking. Right, okay, so I've got my pan here. I'm gonna get it onto a medium high heat. Then add just a splash of olive oil, not too much. And I'm just gonna let that pan get nice and hot. And once the pan's nice and hot, what we're gonna do is take our sausage mixture. And we're just gonna take pieces just rip it off, drop it in the pan. Nothing too big, you know, 
sort of that size. And once you've got it in the pan, we need to spend some time just getting some nice colour on it, just until it's a light golden brown. Right, so I've got my onion, and all I'm going to do is just take the end off, peel it, you know the drill. Get rid of all this nonsense, and then very simply, all I'm going to do is just slice it into nice thin well, slices. And after a couple of minutes, once your sausage has taken on a nice bit of colour, we can add the onions. And I'm going to turn the heat down to low because I don't want those onions to caramelise. All I'm going to do is just cook these onions out for a couple of minutes just until they go nice and soft. Right, so the onions have been cooking down now for a good few minutes. You can see they've gone nice and soft. I'm going to add the bay leaves from earlier. And now we need to add some red wine. No need to be too precise with it really. You know, you want about a third of a bottle. If you add half, who cares? Slosh that in. I'm just going to turn the heat up just a touch. And then what we're going to do is just bring that to a simmer and then let the wine reduce by about half. Right, so once the wine is reduced by half, we're going to go in with a can of crushed tin tomatoes, a spattering of some more oregano, just about half a teaspoon. Again, just mix that up. And then turn it down to a nice gentle heat and I'm going to put the lid on. And you want to let that cook for about 30 to 40 minutes, nice and gently, till that sauce is nice and thick and reduced. And the beauty about this sauce is it's really simple because all the flavour is in that sausage. So we don't really need to add anything else apart from wine and some tomatoes to that sauce. And about 10 minutes before it's ready, you want to get your pasta on, cook it to nice and al dente, and then we'll mix the whole lot together and we can eat it. Because not, not only am I knackered, I'm also very, very hungry. Right, so we're about eight to 10 minutes away before everything is ready. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is to add some spinach. So I'm just gonna add a nice big, generous handful or two, and I'm just gonna mix that in, and then pop the lid back on. And again, just cook that out until that spinach is nice and wilted. Right, okay, so everything is cooked, our pasta's done, nice and al dente, uh, and I'm gonna fish out the bay leaves from the sauce. And now I'm gonna add the cooked pasta. I'm using rigatoni. You can use whatever pasta you like. And now I'm going to add just a touch of lemon zest. Don't need too much. Probably about half a lemon, because that's just going to lift everything and give a nice zesty kick. Now, of course, this wouldn't be complete without some Parmesan cheese. So I'm going to go in with a nice helping of that. And then just mix all of that rigatoni in with the sausage. And that, folks, is it. It's done. Now we can dish up and have a taste. Right, OK, let's dish some of this up. A nice big bowl of it here. And then of course we're going to finish this off with some more Parmesan cheese. And there we have it, that's my simple sausage pasta. So let's tuck in and give it a taste. Right, so let's dive into this puppy. Cannot wait, I'm starving. Let's get a bit of everything. Let's go in. That pasta is nice and al dente still, but the real star of the show is that sausage got so much flavour in there and like I said before if you can get hold of Italian sausages use those just take the meat out of the skins and just go straight to the cooking process if you're making this for kids you might want to take the uh, cayenne pepper out it's really good there's all that flavour in the sausage the garlic the fennel seeds that nice richness that comes from the red wine it's a little bit sweet as well and it's one of those recipes as well that makes you look really good in the kitchen like you've slaved 10 hours over a stove when actually it's what, it's taken half an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. And by adding the spinach, it's a great way to get veg into your kids because you're kind of hiding it in the sauce. Because you know what they're like. They're like, oh, I don't like vegetables. Well, there we are folks. That's my simple sausage pasta. Really simple to do. Uh, I'm gonna have to go because the cat's around my legs. You obviously want something. Probably fuss or food or both. Now, if you like this video, then please stick a like down below. Also, let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, if you stick around at the end, there'll be some links to some more videos. And if you'd like to subscribe, there'll be a button for that as well. And I'll see your lovely faces next time for more tasty fun and frolics. And bye for now. Right. Bye bye, everyone. All oh, right, I'll put you down. Jesus Christ.